This Pride GoGo three wheel came into us today and it won't turn over. I have suspicion that it might be a bad battery. Let me show you guys how that you can get down to the battery box. Take your chair off. That just comes right up. Lightly pull up the battery and you're right to the battery box. We've taken our old batteries out of the battery box and what we're going to do is take out our load tester. We've put in our positive to our in our positive together and our negative and our negative together on the terminals. Note that I'm just under 10 volts. I should normally be at 12, but I'm testing already at 10. Put a load on the battery, we'll hold this button down for 10 seconds, and we'll get a proper testing at how many volts the battery has while the scooter is running. As you can see, that we tested somewhere right in the 2 range, which is not nearly enough power to function this unit. A case of having bad batteries within a chair. We now have the new batteries within the housing, and what we're going to do is we're just going to finish up. Put your red terminal to your red, black to black, and the final step is we're going to label these batteries to show when our six month warranty is going to begin. We're now ready to close up the housing and then test it on our unit. Duracell batteries typically do not function well in power scooters or power chairs. As you can see here, this battery has swelled as well as it's kind of almost come undone. Because you want to make sure that your three pin connection that is on the bottom of this battery box sets perfectly into this opening right here. Give yourself some leverage. And let it drop right down on there and give it a nice little push. To reset our seat onto the unit, I like to come back from the back and just watch it slide right on. The last step, make sure that the unit is fully functional. 